Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be having a little break from Lego space and looking at a classic Lego castle set, which is this one, 6054, which is the Forest Men's Hideout. Now I absolutely love the castle range, but I've nowhere near got anything like a decent collection of it. The Forest Men, however, um, I don't know what it is, but I just, I just love these guys and there's not a lot to collect within the Forest Men series. And well, this is the first one we're going to have a look at. So we have a nice, lovely boxed one of these today. Um, and that will be today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. Okay then, so let's start with the uh, the box first of all. So um, first thing I notice is it's in the bright sort of yellow colours, um, a bit like the, uh, the Castle series. And um, Although it's not massive, it's the same size as like a medium sort of spaceship set. Um, this is still quite a substantial uh, little castle playset. set. Um, couple of figures with this one as well, a couple of nice, uh, the Robin Hood figures. I think that's probably why I like these so much is because the minifigures um, are just so fantastic. Um, this was released in 1988, so just over 30 years ago now. And, um, it is a fantastic little set, uh, certainly one that I uh, I like myself. And um, although when the castle stuff came out, I was already a little bit old for Lego, um, I always remember seeing this thinking, oh, that's a really great set. And um, in later years, as I've started picking up uh, some vintage Lego sets, this has been one of the sets that I've actually uh, tried to get hold of. Um, and um, I had a bit of a job finding these boxed. Um, they don't turn up that often. and. Um, uh, Value-wise, they, they seem to be going for between 30 and 50 pounds, depending on quite how, how nice your condition is. Now, the main set is the one on, the main sort of build-up is the one on the front there. However, there are alternative builds on this one. Um, also, one of the great features is that it actually opens up, but you can play around with this and uh, have a bit of fun. I particularly like this little one down the bottom there, where you've got like a, a bit of a target range, which is really cool. Um, now. Unlike these space sets, this one actually has flaps rather than a tray. So you can't just slide it open, but once you've undone the flaps, then you get the, uh, the, the, like the cardboard tray inside. Um, not a lot in this particular one. There probably would have been a catalog at some point, but alas, mine's, uh, mine's gone. Um, and then the, uh, the tray there. So if we pop this back in, then we'll have a little look at the instructions because it's one of those ones which folds out, um, as you'll see in a moment. So that's the, the box back. Now, here he is, yeah, 1988. And obviously you just work your way through the booklet. So you get your forest men together and then you start working on the base. Nothing too complicated about this one, although these initial bits actually are, to try and follow it, it is a little bit fiddly, I would say. Um, but as long as you just do it, you follow the book, you're absolutely easy. It's not like some of the space sets where you sort of know exactly where the pieces are going to go. But there we are. And then once you start to put the roof on, and then the final little adornments, it suddenly comes to life, which is fantastic. I particularly like the, uh, the little target there and, the, uh, and the, the barrel and stuff. So let's get the actual uh, set out now for us to have a closer look at. So we just pop the box over to one side. And I have to say, it really is great, this one. So initially, it comes as almost like a tree trunk in effect, um, as you can see here. There's a little bits and bobs with it as well. So looking around it, you've got your, your Robin Hood sort of forest man up here sort of hanging from a vine. You've got your chap down the bottom there. Now, uh, you could detach this pretty easily. And he could be just having a bit of target practice. 
and you've got this which is like almost like a little bit of set dressing where you've got this little barrel here and um, like a couple of well I'm not sure what they are but a couple of bits of food or something like that but certainly a, um, a great little set there now it's also got the uh, the forest men shield there so I'll show the little antlers on the deer which are really nice I really like those now like some of the other sets they've been quite ingenious in that they've designed this so that you can split it up as so so that's the back and you'll notice in the back here um, you've got well, you've got a sword there that your forest man can get also a little there's a spear right there's a sword there so you can have your guy up in the uh, you can have him hiding out in the back here like so ready to get any invaders and things which is excellent because he's got his, his sword set there as well so that's really nice i quite like the uh, added uh, play value of that one there and of course if you turn it around you've then got an even wider sort of diorama for you to uh, to play with i would suggest if it was me and i was a youngster playing these i would put all my sort of castle sets together on a big green sort of board um, base uh, plate and have them all together that way because combined they're great and all the three of the sets that they released in this sort of range and this size are all very very similar um, in sort of the the actual materials and things used so I think they go together really well um, and the more uh, forest men you've got in your collection the better if you ask me and there are some real nice um, little forest men sets that I've got as well as some nice castle sets and I will show those in some up-and-coming videos um, and I've got some box and I've got some some loose ones as well anyway that is this lovely little forestman set so um, I mean absolutely fantastic it really is uh, so I would love to know what your memories are if you ever had this forest set when you were young um, if you collect the forest men today um, I mean as I said I concentrate uh, with my buying of vintage Lego on the classic space sets because I love them so much but this particular bit of Lego Castle is fantastic and um, certainly uh, warrants uh, your attention if you are thinking of getting into collecting uh, a little bit of Lego Castle because they're really really nice sets so um, I shall put the, uh, the set onto its uh, rotating pedestal and we'll have a really really close up look at it So there you are, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at this lovely Lego Forestman set. Certainly is great, isn't it? Um, I do have a dedicated playlist on my channel for all my vintage Lego reviews and unboxings, so do check that one out. Thanks once again for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button for regular Lego content, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.